Sligo clinched the title last weekend, securing Champions League football in the process. And it's Europe that now occupies the minds of everyone at Drogheda, Pats and Shamrock Rovers. Qualification from the Premier Division for the Europa League is between those three. Derry City also have a chance via the FAI Cup Final. Thanks very much, Peter. Good evening. Yes, the newly crowned champion Sligo Rovers given a warm welcome here at Hunky Dory's Park and a guard of honour by the players of Drogheda United. A lovely gesture in recognition of the success of Sligo Rovers in clinching the league title with a victory over St. Pat's last Saturday at the showgrounds. Drogheda, for their part, well, victory tonight will assure them of European football next season. EA Sports Cup winners and securing European football would make it a remarkable season for the club. Well, the aside for Drogheda tonight, well, bad news because Derek Prendergast misses out because of flu. Gabriel Sava returns between the posts. Now, Alan Byrne, in the absence of Derek Prendergast, slots into the back four alongside Alan McNally. There's a rare appearance at right back for Stephen Quigley. Ryan Brennan and Eric Foley return from suspension, while Gavin Brennan and Paul Crowley are banned for this game. And what of the new champions? No Mark Quigley tonight for Sligo Rovers. He, of course, uh, famously took away the title-winning penalty at the showgrounds last week, so he's got hero status in the northwest. He's been troubled by a calf injury during training this week. Ian Barraclough has decided to freshen up his side, and there are first starts this season for Richard Brush in goal, for Ryan Connolly on the wing, and for Liam Buchanan, who spearheads the Sligo attack. And it will be... Drogheda United to get us underway in this first half, playing from right to left. And a pretty good crowd here as well. Sligo Rovers in the comfort zone, having won the league title. Drogheda United maintaining their push for Europe. Most people expecting Drogheda United to drift down the table. But to the credit of McCook and the players, they've stayed the distance. That they were challenging at all is uh, some achievement. And Europe still beckons. So they have an opportunity here with Sean Brennan to put Sligo under pressure early on. And the header just wide of the target in the opening seconds here at Hunky Dory's Park. Inside 20 seconds, a chance for Ryan Brennan. Well, an extremely positive start by Drada. I mean, again, they could be playing the most like I've been up to all week. I mean, you can see it's a quick free kick taken. I mean, it's come down the wing. I mean, it's a great ball in the box. Free header inside the box, early doors. Played back by Sean Brennan. And down the line. From Philip Hand and Drada again trying to uh, carve a way through. Work back to Brennan. Sean Brennan, that is, but it all breaks down and Sligo will try to counter here. Cauley sending it on for Joey and Doe. Oh, what a run forward this is by Lee Lynch. Lynch now with Buchanan arriving in the middle. Draw to a plenty of bodies back. Lynch goes for goal and it's a decent save from Gabriel Sava at his near post. A Sligo breakaway almost yielding an open goal for the visiting side who've been on the back foot so far in this game. But Lee Lynch, what a break and a good save at the end of it all. Yeah, well, that's what you're going to get. I mean, if you're going to try and slack attack Sligo, you've got to make sure you have conviction. And what's happened there is Endo has picked out Lee Lynch very, very quickly on the break, and it was a chance. Gabriel Saba, who was on the bench last week. Michael Schlingerman preferred in goal for that game, but Saba back between the posts tonight. Sean Brennan now for United. As hand in support. This is Philip Hand to sweep it in. It's flicked on. And might fall here for Drogheda, and it's all at the top. But what a chance that was. The ball running loose at the back post. And it really should be 1-0 to Drogheda United. Marvellous chance, Adrian. Absolutely marvellous chance. I mean, there's a, there's a missed kick. I mean, it's a great ball in the box again. It's a little flick on. The overhead kick is missed. And that's a sitter. An absolute sitter. And, you know, he's limp back. OK, technique is difficult to get into the back of the net, but that's seven or eight yards out. Marvellous chance, should be taken, and Drada should be probably 2-0 up at this stage because they've had the two best chances in the game. Now Pascal Millian in the starting Sligo 11 tonight. Very surprised if he didn't figure at some stage. Buchanan onto the loose ball. Liam Buchanan letting fly, and it's a decent hit. And Saba well, took no chances with that one. Always rising, but a well-struck effort from Liam Buchanan. That's more like it. There you go. Has a little look. And smacks it from 35 yards, makes the keeper make a save. And all of a sudden, Sligo have started pushing up the pitch. They've got far, their, their back four is pushed up, the midfield is pushed up, and all of a sudden, they're starting to create a few chances. Luke, of course, himself departing for Accrington Stanley. Just before the start of the campaign, Sligo had to go searching for a new manager. And I have to say, they've done well in terms of selections of managers down through the years. Defensively here, they're under pressure once again, but Ross Gaynor managed to get a nick to it as Sean Brennan was bearing down. 
This is a chance of Drada to put a quality ball in the box. Alan Byrne is inside the penalty area, so to McNally, and it's headed goalwards, and it is headed in, and draw the United have got the league goal, and it is no more than they deserved. Real thumping header, and Alan McNally is being congratulated. Yes, marvellous, marvellous goal. I mean, Alan McNally scored an awful lot of goals this year from set pieces. I mean, it's a marvellous ball in the box from Philip Ham, and McNally is unpicked. He's, he's, he's come in, lace. There it is, great finish down the bottom corner. And I'm sure he's brought it back home. And Bose has won a league medal, will be very proud of that as well, Paul. So that's a marvellous goal. Alan McNally with his fourth goal of the season and draw the United lead by one goal to nil. And it's been coming. McNally with a fine header. Brush beaten to it. And it has been coming, Adrian. I mean, you know, you go look back at Paul Cook said, Saiga were too deep. They had the chances, they didn't take them. They're now one up. Here's Hines, Drogheda going for more here. Lifted over the top and Fabio O'Brien is in here. But a good covering challenge coming in from Ross Gaynor. And the referee is going to issue a yellow card here to Declan Fabio O'Brien. See it again, but assuming he handled it. See, the ball has come over the shoulder and I mean, it looks like he's, he's brought it down with his hand. I mean, I mean, the way he's gone over and, and had, a, had a war with the linesman. He started disputing himself, and that's very, very harsh in my view. I, mean, I think he's got that in the top of the chest. That's not a handball to me. I think they've got away with one there. And John is with the Slugger Rovers manager, Ian Barclough. Uh, Ian Barclough, uh, goal down and uh, defending deep. Yeah, it was a, a silly mistake to, to give away the corner, first and foremost, something we, we don't do normally. Uh, and secondly, we, we don't give things away from uh, set pieces, so but it's slopping us all around there. And we, We've passed the ball at times, OK, but again, people are doing things that they wouldn't normally do, and that's uh, there's no excuses for that. You know, they're good habits. Good pros have, got, have good habits all the time. And there's four changes on a team, I suppose it's showing No excuse. No excuse at all. No, everyone everyone knows what the, the roles and responsibilities are, and everyone knows that... Uh, Hines with the effort, it's deflected you know, behind everyone. for a corner kick. Well, draw the United appealing for handball inside the penalty area. And they've got a corner kick. No penalty awarded. Again, it's a long ball in the box. You see the trouble all the time. Piers hasn't got it. McGuinness hasn't got it. There's a smack of the ball from Hines. McGuinness is turning his back to it, so I don't think it's a penalty kick. And Ian Barraclough has said exactly what we've been saying. No excuses. Draw that. Pushing for the second here. Richard Brush coming off his line and getting a strong fist to it. The goal lead. Could even be more. Here goes Sean Brennan. Brennan. And a cut inside. Well, uh, running loose. And Joey Indo is there to uh, clear Sligo's lines. But help us what's he doing there Eric Foley onto it Ryan Brennan again draw to looking for handball against Jason McGuinness back with Hines Gannon sending it wide Quigley now right across the face of goal and once again the flag is raised on the far side so it wouldn't have counted anyway Grissi intent the corner delivered and it's away by Anderson Foley Sean Brennan unmarked inside the Sligo penalty area. Sean Brennan drilling it across the six yard box. Gavin Pierce sticking out a boot and getting it away. Sligo firmly under pressure here. Ryan Brennan sending it on. Eric Foley. Brennan hoisting it over the top. Sligo managed to repel the danger for now. Back into the danger zone and stabbed away by Jason McGuinness. Sligo really under pressure here. And it's Sean Brennan with a snapshot on the turn. Gathered by Richard Brush and Sligo really under the cosh. Yeah, and again, it's another great chance. I mean, again, it's nobody picking them up, and it's a very, very good technique. But just after the, the possession has happened, I mean, you, I mean, it's marvelous and it's very unlucky. And it's good positioning by Brush, but you can see Gavin Pierce straight after counting the amount of midfielders that are free and not being picked up. And Doe. Oh, and it's sloppy again from Sligo, and it's. Oh. Just over the top from Eric Foley. A fizzing effort. And Richard Brush, a relieved man to see that one go over the top of the crossbar. Yeah, again, brilliant by Drahada. Three men has closed down in though. Half a chance. Eric Foley over the top. Be further ahead. Sava with the free kick. McGuinness rising with Hines. Clever turn and Gavin Pierce stuck out of boot. And it's going to be a free kick for Drahada United. Sean Brennan upended. Man 
with purpose here. And Foley almost casually stroking it over the wall and not too far away. No, and I tell you, that's not far off at all. He's, you know, he's very confident, head down, had a little look up. Brush has the hands up, saying it's miles off. I don't know if that's as far off as Richard Brush thought it was. Back with Coley. And Alan Byrne at the end of it all. It's good work ethic tonight. And that's really been the case of Drogheda United all this season long. Battle so hard, not a team of stars by any stretch of the imagination. Gavin Pearce under pressure here from Hines. Hines a much travelled player. Former Derry City man, of course. Oh, lovely football and hand in here, right across the face of goal. Oh, terrific effort by Philip Hand getting forward. And Richard Brush, well, again, relieved. And that ball whistled past his left hand post. Marvellous football. I mean, Philip Hand has just not hit the target there. But, you know, beautiful interplay. Great strike with the left peg, just wide of the far post. But it's all come from Gavin Pearce not defending properly. Sloppiness. Normally, deals with that very, very comfortably, didn't do it. Drada totally, totally capitalised on it. And unlucky, to be fair to them, we're not that on three up at this stage. And a play from Jeff Henderson at Drogheda United. Throw in in stoppage time at the end of the first half. This is Eric Foley. The goal scorer, Alan McNally. McNally clipping it forward, looking for Hines. Great knockdown. O'Brien is in there. Ross Gaynor across from left back, managed to get a touch to it. Still draw to United, knocking on the door here. Lee Lynch manages to win his throw-in. Well, it's been a difficult opening 45 minutes here for Sligo Rovers. Draw to United, well and truly good value for their half-time lead. The goal scored by Alan McNally. As we see that chance that almost fell the way of Drada, right on the blow of half-time, but Sligo surviving. And Ian Barraclough with plenty to say, I'm sure, at half-time to his side because Sligo Rovers simply haven't been at it so far. Drogheda United, good value for their lead. Half time at Hunky Dory's Park, it's Drogheda United 1, Sligo Rovers 0. Would you like to think that they come out and play in the second half and be more like what we used to? Gavin Pearce allowing it to run back to uh, Richard Brush, who I'm sure, given his first league start tonight of the season, would dearly have loved to have a, a clean sheet to take home, but not to be. Joey and Doe. Have some surprise that Endo started this game. He's uh, put in a fair shift this season. Might well be due a break, but he just loves playing football. Here's Buchanan. Chance for Sligo right in the start of the second half. Oh, off the upright. What a chance for Liam Buchanan. Pretaro, and it's fired into the net. And Sligo Rovers have the goal. A suspicion of offside, but Sligo Rovers have drawn level. Draw the United simply cannot believe it. Amazing. I mean, Buchanan's two bites of the cherry. I mean, the first one he's hit the post. He's been outplayed on side. A marvellous finish. Second, there's the first chance. Hits the post. Comes back out. Ball comes back in the box. Half a shot. Look miles offside to me. Walks away. Looks like he's never scored in his life. But it's 1 1. The serious suspicion of offside, though. He looks miles offside to me. But Linesman is right. Liam Buchanan with his second league goal for Sligo Rovers. And against the odds. New champions have drawn level here, and draw that players still incensed with Tomas Connolly, and in particular with his assistant Mark Douglas on the far side. And the referee is going to issue a yellow card here, and it's a red. A draw the United are down to ten men. And Declan Fabio O'Brien, who picked up a yellow card for what was deemed to be a handball in the first half has been sent off on a second yellow here and draw to United who are firmly in the driving seat well it's all unravelling for them they've been pegged back and they're down to 10 men yeah and I think that's just total frustration again to me Adrian that's just a shocking decision I mean okay he might have said something to the referee the first incident with Declan Fabio Bryan was not a handball I don't know what went on the second time and obviously he's got a second yellow card from it the first incident though to me I think the ball is offside. Buchanan has scored. He hasn't celebrated like anybody has scored. And the unfortunate thing about it, you know, you look at it, Buchanan's done really well, hit the post. The ball has come back out. Cawley's looking at it. So second phase ball. It's been flaked in by Gattaro. To me, I mean, he looks as if he's standing on the six-yard box. And the only one could have played him on is probably Stephen Quigley. But to me, it looks offside. Working it on to his left. Headed away by Ross Gaynor. And now Sligo on the counter here. 
Acres of room for Joey and Doe to drive into. Still Joey and Doe. Vitaro to his left, but this is Buchanan to the right. And his effort is blocked away brilliantly by Alan Byrne. Rock solid defending for Byrne. Rock solid, and there you go. I mean, if you're going to attack Sligo, you're going to get hit with this. And nothing better than seeing Joey and Doe in full flight. Buchanan hits the first time, but a marvellous block by Alan Byrne again. He's Sean Brennan back to McNally. Foley closed down by Buchanan. Trying to coughed up possession here. Lee Lynch, the newly introduced Dylan. That's a great ball for Connolly. Trying to just lift it beyond the goalkeeper. The out rushing Gabriel Sava, who did really well to get anything on it. It's a corner kick for Sligo Rovers. Great work from Gabriel Sava. Brilliant save by Gabriel Sava. Brilliant confusion by Dylan. A little dink. That's a brilliant save. Controlled by Cretaro under pressure, trying to step away from the challenger quickly. Cretaro. Well, he's got a, a stern talking to him. Clearly, the referee is going to issue a yellow card, and it looks like the draw the man is a yellow for uh, Rafael Cretaro for that challenge, and Eric Foley, as we see it once again. Yeah, well, look, he's lost control and he's lunged in, and again, you know, it's a yellow card. I mean, he's put his hand up straight away because that's a very, very nasty tackle. And it's one of those sort of silly tackles. Again, you know, the surface and everything else is going to play his part, but he knows himself that he was he was bang out of order with that one and possibly lucky to get away with a yellow card. I mean, he's, you know, it's just really, really nasty and stupid and sloppy. And sadly for Eric Foley, he's been carried off here at Hunky Dory's Park and one of the best laid plans of Mick Coop going out the window, losing Declan O'Brien. On a second yellow card, and Eric Foley, such an inspirational figure in midfield. So, draw the United being forced into uh, making a change here. Youngster Marty Owens. Owens. Doing well, and Sligo driving forward here with Lee Lynch. They managed to work it wide. Pitaro at the back post, cut up it quickly. Millian is on to it, and it's a chance for Sligo, and it's driven over the bar by John Dillon. Sava had an important hand to it. Good, good save from Gabriel Sava to deny John Dillon. Yeah, another marvellous save by Sava. I mean, that's a snapshot by Dillon. Sava is there. As it stands, they are drawing. All the home fans are enjoying themselves. They not be particularly enjoying the second half, but they're doing the conga around Hunky Dory's Park, and it's a sight to behold. <laughs> and Chase and Harry as much as they could do in the first half. And when you're looking at a team like Sligo who can pass you to death, then it was always going to be an uphill battle. But they have battled manfully, and they've been, in fairness to me, outstanding. McCook has set up a great setup here, and they all work for each other, and they're a team, T-E-A-M. Marty, Marty Owens allows the ball to bounce, and he has to try and atone here. And Owens clears it away. Still not uh, entirely away for Sligo. And Richard Brush is beaten, and draw the United may well go on and win this game, and it's a cracking goal to put them 2-1 up, Brian Gannon with a beautiful finish, and would you believe it, the ten men are leading against the champions by two goals to one, and as it stands, they are heading for Europe. Brilliant. Again, magnificent play by Ryan Brennan, little flick, and what a finish. Top draw. I mean, that just shows you what they've been like all season, working extremely, extremely hard, going to the bitter end and a marvellous finish and this, uh, in, in, in the whole game of things they deserve to be 2-1 up yes Sligo got the run of the green in the second half but what a marvellous finish top drawer stuff top drawer great finish by Ter Brian Gallagher. yeah terrific goal his fourth goal of the season and it could be the one that sends them into Europe draw the United lead by two goals to one and we are in the 90th minute and Sligo Rovers will really have to try and pull something out of the fire here or else they are heading for their second league defeat of the season. But what a beauty of a goal, peach of a goal from Brian Gannon and draw to United with their noses in front, the 10 men. McGuinness for Sligo, they may yet have something to say about all of that. And it's Ross Gaynor driving forward and in, what a chance for Raph Cataro, Connolly at the back post, Lee Lynch, great save by Sava. And Sava holds on to it at the second attempt. And almost, almost an equalising goal for Sligo Rovers. But brilliant once again from Gabriel Sava. Great ball in the box by Ross Gaynor. How Katara missed that after last week. Marvellous save by Sava. Lee Lynch, dead straight. There's the miss. How oh, did he miss that? 
comes back, Leland just calling it, just give it to me. Magnificent save by Sava. Again, right place, right time. Great positioning. So man of the match, I'm sure it wasn't easy. Who have you gone for, Pat? No, it wasn't easy. I mean, Sava's been outstanding. Brian Brennan's been outstanding. But my man of the match tonight is the centre-half, number 28, Alan Byrne. He's been a leader. He's, he's led the back four fantastically well. And to me, he stood up when everybody around him needed to be stood up to. And he's my electricity man of the match, Alan Byrne. So the big man, Alan Byrne, gets Pat's vote as man of the match at Drogheda United. Well, their fans are absolutely buzzing at the moment. And can you blame them? Saba, centre. Europe could depend on this. And it's headed away, at least far as John Dillon. Swept in by Connolly, nobody challenging for Sligo. But it's loose. Lee Lynch trying to tee it up. Nobody inside the penalty area. Mark Pitaro really for Sligo. To get it away, draw it up, and only as far as Joseph Endo. Still time for Sligo Rovers to rescue the situation. Gainer's attempt to cross is charged down by Stephen Quigley. It's October 2007. Sava with the goal kick. Piers rises, but he loses out. Away by Jason McGuinness. Hunky Dory's Park is rocking at the moment. Draw the United fans absolutely in seventh heaven. Marty Owens takes the throw in. Kataro controls. Sligo have to try and get it forward. It's with Gavin Pearce. All the way back to his goalkeeper, Richard Brush. Well, you thought he'd have to send it long. He hasn't. It is all over. A draw to United will play in Europe next season. A delightful winner for Brian Gannon. Draw to inflict only a second league defeat of the season upon the champion Sligo Rovers. Great win for the home side. It has finished here at Hunky Dory's Park. Draw to United 2. Sligo Rovers 1. The 10 men have done it. Yes, what a dramatic evening in Drada as United inflict only the second league defeat of the season on the champions Sligo Rovers and in doing so they have secured Europa League football for next season. So many congratulations to Mick Cook and his squad. And with the man of the match, Alan Byrne and Paddy McGrath from the FAI is going to give him his Eritrean League man of the match award. Well done to you, Paddy, and also well done to Alan Byrne for collecting that award. And a terrific game, terrific contest, and obviously it's very sweet to win a game like that, especially with 10 men. Oh, we made it hard for ourselves, but thank God we got it in the end. We worked hard all season, so just chuffed to get there now. It's been a fantastic season for you, third in the league, guaranteed Europe and also the League Cup as well. Yeah, I don't know how the patch result went, but we're going to aim for second. We, we'll keep it going till the end and we're just delighted to get to Europe. Mm. That was the aim all the time, so we're just chuffed. And nice to be the champions. Nice to be the champions, yeah. Well, they're champions now. They've have, they have another game at home to lift their cup, but we're just delighted. We won the EA Sports Cup and Europe now is a great season. OK, well, there you go. That's Alan Byrne, our man of the match. Thanks very much.